Hello. Here we are in Advent, that time before Christmas when we look forward every day to celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. We've put up our decorations already in our house and in amongst them we have our Advent calendar. Um, our Advent calendar is not a fancy one with chocolates or anything else inside it. It's a traditional one. Um, and I'll just let you see what it looks like. It's one we've had for a long time. Um, it's got the nativity scene on the front of it. And I've opened today's door, which you can see has a picture of the baby Jesus in the manger. And there's a Bible verse underneath it. So I thought I would just read that passage to you today. It's taken from Luke reading from verse 26 in chapter 1, the birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel since I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. So Mary, like all other pregnant mums, had to wait for the birth of Jesus. And I think Advent is about waiting. And for me, that's the most exciting bit. The excitement and the expectation every day as we walk towards Christmas Day, whether it's just opening another door on your calendar or burning a bit more of your Advent candle. And I was thinking about that. I'm just wondering, wouldn't it be great if we could extend that feeling of excitement and ex expectation beyond Advent? So if you look at the word Advent, if we extend that just by three letters, it becomes adventure. So I think, why don't we, for 2021, try to have an adventure every day in our walk with Jesus? So we have that feeling of expectation and excitement, not just before Christmas, but throughout the whole year. Merry Christmas.